speaking of hot markets right now, Quincy is definitely one of those hot spots. I'm joined right now by Austin Partain from William Ravis. Yep. You're on the streets in Quincy every day. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous over yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's a tough market to get into. You've got to have an agent by your side, especially um, you know, depend, you know, if you're looking for a two-family, even single families. Uh, in the last year, single family values went up 14 percent. It's got to be one of the, the highest increases in and around that area. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's still more affordable than what you're going to find in the city, and it's convenient as well. So that's what draws all these buyers to that area. Um, you know, the surrounding towns have benefited so much because Quincy is so difficult to get in. And we're talking about a lot of new construction coming into Quincy, yeah, but is that yeah. just not ready yet? Um, it's not ready yet. I mean, the thing is, is there's been construction for the last year and a half, two years. Uh, a lot of those units were sold very quickly. Uh, there's some new buildings that are being uh, developed right now, and those units are selling before they're even completed. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of demand um, in, in the Quincy market. So you just, you have to be prepared to offer strong offers. That's the only way that you're going to get a home in that area. We were talking recently about some of the traffic coming through your open houses. Yeah. There's some ridiculous numbers. Unbelievable. I had a two family. We had 125 people come to the open house and we had 17 offers. Wow. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. It's a seller's dream in a lot of ways, but it can get confusing at times as well. Yeah. I mean, you get these offers that just seem so good. I mean, the seller's going to walk away with so much money, but you really have to look at these offers. You have to make sure that everything is there, the pre-approval, the proof of funds, if the pre-approval isn't for what they're offering exactly, um, you know, the terms as well. There's a lot you have to look at. It's not just about the price. We hear these stories all the time about these inflated offers. Just out of curiosity, what did you see on that offer? Um, we had um, an offer. I mean, every offer we had was over asking, one of which a couple hundred over asking. A um, couple hundred A couple hundred thousand. thousand. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know. Uh, the pre-approval wasn't for that much, and their, the rest of the funds were in a foreign bank account. So it's really difficult in some cases to get that money wired over and obviously we have to make a decision we have other offers and we have deadlines so uh, we couldn't accept that offer unfortunately um, and you know you have to make sure that it appraises as well so that's something that you have to keep in mind when you look at these high offers that's why you have to be working with the top agent like yourself it's Absolutely. not just about the top offer or no. the most money perfect that, example exactly yeah so you know I say it's tough to get into Quincy but there's so much going on in and around Quincy the development um, it's, it's such a good market. So although you may be paying top dollar, it's going to pay off in the long run. And in regards to yourself, mm -hmm. you're rocking and rolling over at William Ravis right now. The office is set up and yeah. you guys are moving. Yeah, right downtown, 1245 Hancock, Suite 16, right at the Quincy Center train station. Uh, it's been a great uh, start. Uh, we're, we're very busy over there. And it's a great company, a great band, brand, excuse me. Uh, they're so focused on the technology and still maintaining relationships. Um, and, you know, the brand itself is just, it's like none other. So, yeah, it's been a great start in Quincy. If you're thinking about selling your property in Quincy and thinking about doing it yourself, get off that idea. Jump in with Austin. Great Absolutely. branding over at William Ravis. There we go. You will get it done. <laughs> and uh, in regards to where you see the market going, hopefully more inventory is coming on. Yeah, I would like to think so. You know, obviously we just had the Memorial Day uh, holiday, so I think what we're going to see is more inventory coming on over the next few weeks prior to uh, July 4th holiday. Um, then it'll slow down for a little bit. But I do expect more inventory over the next few weeks for those buyers out there looking. Yeah, it's coming into that buyer's market. Let's hope we get more inventory yes, and please. the weather turns. The two things I'm sick of <laughs> hearing about is the bad weather and no inventory. I just wish summer would come along. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> if you're in the Quincy market and looking to buy or sell your home, you can connect with Austin and his team over at William Ravis directly by going to austinpartain.com. We have more market updates just like this one right here on our page on boston.com.